What's up guys, how's it going? It's Matt here. I'm just gonna film another video today for you. Um, this one's a little different. I got a zero turn, a Ferris ISX um, 800 with the EFI uh, Kawasaki. And uh, I'm renting it today because I'm gonna try it out on a property that has uh, a little over three acres on it. And it's a little bumpy, so that's why I'm trying the Ferris. Um, I'm in the market to buy one. And um, I just wanna see if the suspension's worth the extra money. So. Um, I'm gonna film a little video for you, um, unloading it, mowing, and then my thoughts after. And um, when I'm done, or during, I'll, you'll hear from me, so let's go. All right guys, so I got it in the uh, box trailer here. I already opened the door. Um, I'm just gonna get it unstrapped here. I'm sure this is super exciting. Get it unstrapped. Back one's off. Okay. Leave it right there. Now we're gonna go up here. 61 inch deck, I think they call it, or 60, 61. There you go, looking good, looking good. Over here. Undo this guy. You don't really see very many reviews on YouTube here are these guys so guess what figured I'd do it all right let's hop on this puppy oh it's a rental I don't know how many hours it's hard to see because they're upside down it's an EFI so we're gonna crank it up give it a little juice flip the brake down put the arms up Forgot to put the sides up. Park it here for a second. All right, guys, here it is, the ISX 800. Uh, just gonna give it a shot here. It's a rental. Um, I was looking in, in the market to get a mower, and I wanted to see if the Ferrises are worth it with the suspension. I wasn't really looking at this model, but it's worth a shot because that's all they had for rent. Um, it's got the 26 horsepower. Kawasaki on it, um, 61 inch deck, looks like a nice mower, it's really, they say it's in between a residential, like a large acreage residential mower, um, I've seen some guys on Facebook, they use them for commercial, but, uh, I'm sure it does the trick, alright, uh, so I got three acres to mow, it's a field with some bumps in it, and then around the front of the building, there's some spots which I'll film, uh, I guess I'll see you in the end. Um, I'll show you some videos before and after. Here's the before. And I'll see you in the after and I'll give you my thoughts about how she does. See you in a little bit.
All right, guys. So that's a wrap on the demo of the ISX 800. Here's the cut after. I included some clips in the video of me mowing a couple of the rough spots. Um, overall, I'm not going to lie, in the beginning, I was preparing for a pretty critical review um, of the ride. Because um, in the beginning, it was pretty bad, not going to lie. It's, I thought, you know, there was really no difference at all. But then I remembered that on here, there's adjustments where you can make the springs a little bit more taut and squeeze them in so there's more suspension. Because I was noticing that I was bottoming out. I thought that was pretty lame. Um, because you're going to spend all this money on a mower that bottoms out, you know? So I basically increased it two notches. And it uh, definitely uh, helped out a lot. I think it's definitely a lot better than it was in the beginning. Because I thought it was pretty bad in the beginning, to be honest. But um, now, I guess my concluding thoughts. I'd like to noodle on it a little more, but... The suspension, uh, is it worth the money? Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, is it worth it on this particular model? I'm not sure, because I know this model has smaller springs versus the bigger models. Uh, if you're a homeowner that has a small property, that has some small bumps, nothing too crazy, it's just probably fine. Um, the engine's fine. I had some really wet grass in the front that I let sit there uh, for about two weeks. I wanted to try how this mower performed. In the beginning, it was bogging down. It didn't do too great. Um, I had to go a little slow, and I actually triple cut it to get no clumps out of it. Uh, but you know, the final product looks pretty good in the front. Um, this all, the rest of this area was nice and dry, so it cut relatively okay. It's just going into the fall now, so we didn't really get that much growth. But there was definitely some bumps out there, um, which I guess helped on the suspension. Last week, I tried the Home Depot rental of the Toro 3000, and I liked it left a great cut it was a 52 this is a 61 um, the only downfall i thought of that one was the seat was better than this one oh yeah the seat on this for the money this is ridiculous the seat i mean it has no no suspension at all i mean i guess it says you know adjustable ride i mean firm soft i mean i was basically sitting on the metal pan the whole time i tried both ways soft firm um terrible i mean absolutely terrible like if you can avoid getting that seat on this thing do it because it's like the only thing that was suspension on this machine was the springs i mean i'm a normal size guy i'm over six feet and i'm 220 pounds i mean i have the thing on firm it was terrible I had it on soft it was terrible the toro has a nice adjustable one in the middle uh, i guess they call it like an air ride but it's really spring ride but uh, if this mower is what like 10 to twelve thousand dollars and you get a crummy seat like that that's kind of ridiculous um well, it's uh, EFI engine, the Kawasaki's good. Uh, it's probably fine for most uses. It's 26 horsepower. I think that's pretty high, like maybe the middle ground of what's usually out there. I know Ferris has some that are in the 37 and 40 horsepower, which I'd like to try. Um, that's probably got to be pretty nice. The deck size is perfect. Sorry for the airplane going by. But uh, yeah, the deck size is good. I guess so, I guess to make it a little bit more summed up, things I didn't like about it, the seat was terrible. Um, and then initially when the, on the stock suspension adjustment, I guess maybe how the factory, maybe the, the rental place never adjusted the springs. I guess so, if you leave it stock, the ride's terrible. I wouldn't even bother. But with the adjustments, when you tighten up the springs and give it a little bit more cushion, um, it's definitely better than, than leaving it from stock from the factory. Um, is it worth the money? Yeah, I guess, you know, if you really feel like you want to have, if you're a uh, property or, you know, properties, if you're a commercial guy or relatively smooth, I probably wouldn't even bother uh, getting the spring suspension. But if you're, I guess, sensitive to bumps and stuff like that, or you have back problems and you want something that's a little smoother, uh, I'd definitely go with this. Uh, maybe get a little bit more of an upgraded version. I think they have like a 3200. If you're a commercial guy or 3300 but for if you're a residential guy it's probably perfect for you um if you feel like having spending this amount of money on this machine because this definitely isn't cheap 
But then again, I guess all of them aren't really that cheap. Because if you look at Bobcat, they're around 10000 12000 or even more if you get a bigger one. Um, yeah, so overall, I think I'd give it a, if I had to give it a score, uh, I'd give it an A. It was, it was good. I'd give it an A. A to A minus for this one. Um, for this class of mower, for a home, like a high-end residential mower, I'd give it an A. A minus. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, put them in below. Like, subscribe. I have all different types of content, so hopefully you like it. Um, thanks. Have a good day.